We had uh, Ms. TV. This was awesome. So uh, Dominic is now a hardened criminal, as we talked yes, about we, last we week. established that last week. He's razor on. Yes, he comes out. Well, actually, he was Conan this week. He was. He had his, his uh, old school 90s Conan outfit on. I mean, it had to be that now that almost, you know, I mean, uh, Conan does a lot of stuff as far as suggestions and stuff because him and Ray Mysterio are very, very tight. So I would not be, I mean, when I saw that outfit, I mean, I don't know this, but I mean, I certainly suspected that uh, Conan was the one who, st- who who came up with this thing. Well, if he Just came up with his idea for Dominic, I want him on the booking committee. Cause well, I think he probably did. Dominic you know. as the hardened criminal who has, he's sitting there telling Miz about all the life lessons he learned in the, in the clink. And Miz, of course, doesn't believe him, so they threatened to kick his ass. Well, Miz, Miz brought up that he was only he was bailed out in like a couple of hours after they're talking about well, all these. Well, he tried, and then they shut him down. Yeah. And old Dom goes, now I really know how Martha Stewart feels. I, I actually thought that line was pretty cute. This whole thing was great. Yeah. Love this new character. So anyway, this led to uh, the tag team turmoil, which went 50 minutes. And... Uh, First, we had Balor and Priest versus Anderson and Gallows. And that went uh, 10 minutes, traditional tag match. And uh, Balor ended up schoolboying and uh, pinning Anderson after Dom tripped him. So that was the first match. Then, this was odd, we had Finn Balor and Damian Priest versus Shelton and Cedric. And for some reason in this match, Finn Balor and Damian played the babyface role. They got the heat on them, they made the big comeback. And then uh, Balor hit the coup de grace one. Then we had Balor and Priest versus the Alpha Academy. It was same. Uh, this time it was uh, Alpha Academy who were heels. They were the baby faces, and they set up the hot tag for Otis. Otis yeah, yeah. Did Otis. The, uh, oh, they, 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 I don't think that Gable really played baby face, but o- Otis. Well, his baby did a face ba- and apparently made the big hot tag as they're screaming for Otis. So yeah, o- Otis did do a, a, a hot tag segment though. Yeah, did the caterpillar. And finally, uh, the finish was actually great. So Otis is going for the Vader bomb, and he's going to hit uh, Balor. But Balor grabs Gable. He holds Gable on top of him. So uh, Otis actually squashes both of them, including his own partner. And then Priest ends up hitting him with a running clothesline and pins him. But by sacrificing himself, now Finn Balor, oh, my ribs. They call out the medical bloke, and he goes, you can't wrestle. You guys got to forfeit this match. And there's one match left. Well, I mean, Balor kept saying he could wrestle, he could wrestle. And Dominic's just going like, get to your feet, get to your feet. Yeah, Dominic's telling him to get up. I mean, it was weird because the whole thing is is they were trying to portray Dominic as being afraid to wrestle, which would be weird just because he never was before. But well, now yeah. He's, now he's afraid and he, and he just wanted Balor to wrestle. And then even Priest was, was like hesitant you know, because they said, like, you know, you have two choices. You can either forfeit or Dominic can replace Balor. And even Priest was like, oh, can we get Balor in? It was almost like <laughs> yes. like this this thing of how Dominic is like. He's no a weak good. link. He's a weak link. They know he's, he's no, a gimmick. Yeah, they, they, he's no good. And they didn't really want him in. But when it came down to the decision of either forfeiting the tournament or bring Dominic in, they did, in fact, bring Dominic in. And then Dominic played, you know, that uh, baby face that. Uh, I mean, the heel that just, like, runs away and is chicken for the most part. Well, we had Dominic and uh, Damian versus Street Profit. 16-minute match. Balor's at ringside, icing his ribs. He was awesome at ringside, by the way. If you weren't paying attention to Finn Balor, he was so funny. Selling for everything on the outside. He was screaming and he was calling and he was cheerleading. Yeah. So, uh, finally, at the end, Ford did the huge dive over the post to the floor and he goes to get back into the ring after avoiding Priest, who runs into the steps. But then Dom yanks him off the apron, schoolboys him, puts his feet on the ropes and pins him. Which actually and the second Rhea, time they did that spot on the show, by the way. Yeah, yeah. But Rhea, and Rhea Ripley, Ripley also held uh, uh, Dominic's legs yes. as well. So Dominic so. ended up getting the win. He and the, uh, their, the Judgment Day team. won the gauntlet match. And now it'll be the Judgment Day versus the Usos for the tag titles next week. So. Yep. I mean, it's not like, you know, people go, oh, it's just like when Vince, and this is not like a Vince show, okay? It was boring, but it wasn't a stupid show. There wasn't much stupid stuff that happened. It was a very simple, by-the-number show. 
All the matches were fine. A few of them were good. The crowd was dead, but that happens sometimes. And uh, I can't recommend the show, but it's just because it was three long hours and really nothing happened. Well, you know, the whole show was built around uh, establishing Judgment Day against the Usos. And, you know, um, I don't know. If, I'm not sure if they're baby faces or heels. I mean, they were definitely heels in the match with the Street Profits. And Dominic is definitely a heel. But, uh, you know, it was, uh, yes, it was, uh, I know, I mean, I, if anything, it, it kind of just showed the, the, the depth issues on Raw because, I mean, look at who they, to fill a three-hour show, look at the people who they, they featured a lot of people who they usually don't even use. All right, let's you know, do like, some. Like, you oh. know, like, ben, like Benjamin and, uh, you know, I mean, Gable and Otis are usually used, but Benjamin and Alexander are almost never used. But it did feel like that they're, Trying to build up, you know, Benjamin and Alexander to put the Hurt Business back together, which in real life, Lashley has been pushing for for a long, long time. He, I think that, and and really, they never should have broke them up because they were actually a pretty hot act and they were broken up for no reason, um, you know, no real good reason. It's not like they broke them up and, and Lashley got hotter, which he didn't. And be, all it did was um, take out Benjamin and uh, Gable. The WWE legendary joke book. Why do WWE superstars' fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? Erkerlund? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Yep. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. <laughs> Glamazon. That's what I said. <laughs> what? You said Gramazon. No, I said Glamazon. <laughs> oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. You get, the, the you get it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.